Hello, dear viewer. Thank you so much for watching this wonderful video. Hey, if you want some late night alternative merch like this or this bag or these t-shirts, go to tlna.co.uk. That's www.tlna.co.uk. Thank you. If I added it. Did I add it? No, I didn't. Oh, I sorry. I, I've just... I forgot sorry, to Laura. add the screen that Jeff sent me. There's James Barkley. Hello. Look at his lovely chair. Look at his lovely hair. What a setup. That is a beauty. And look at, I, this is one of the things, and I just, I have to say this, James, that hat, I love it. It's got, you, you need one of those debobblers though. No, it's supposed to be like uh, that. Listen, it's a big thing. I can't. Um, is it meant to be bobbly? I've got, listen, I've got one of those lint roller things. I could easily get rid of it, but now it's become a thing where if I think I get oh. rid of the lint on my hat, that um, something's going to happen. I don't wow. know. That's insane, I know. <laughs> no, this is great. This is great. A actors famously are... Um, superstitious. Superstitious. Mm -hmm. Would you say I, that you are genuinely superstitious? I guess so. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I, I've got two of these hats exactly the same. Two of them I've never worn. I've got three of them. Two of them I've never worn. I've only ever worn this one. They're the exact same hats from the exact same place. I needed them for something. I've only worn one. I, I could grab a. I could go to a little box there and grab a fresh I believe one for you. you right now. I believe. I believe you. I believe you have those hats. You don't have to do that for so us. So he's got two on the subs bench. Yeah. Couple reference. But, but this but... is this is my bo bobbly one, and it sits <laughs> on the. Uh, it hangs on my guitar, so it gets quite dusty. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is about guitars. They love dust. They don't they? Don't they just? This is the hat I'm wearing. We're, this is a very we're a very hat friendly stream. Mm. Love I it. love hats. Uh, this is a bit a uh, bit squashed, but I love hats. I've got my. He's got a really hideous one that's probably was alive at some was point. Big, Where's that? I'm gonna, let me go and get some hats. This is why we brought you here tonight, James, so you can show off his hats. Thank you so There's much for uh, inviting Where's, me. Um, I don't know whether that's all right to wear that. That might be appropriation. Oh, for God's sakes! Well, just saying, mate, before someone else does. I get cancelled. I can't find the makeup denied. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I can't find the jungle hat. The jungle hat's around somewhere. Uh -oh. The actual I'm a celeb um, jungle hat is around somewhere. Out the way, Lara. Um, how you doing, man? I'm all right. I'm, I'm okay. It's a um, strange old time to be alive, but it's all right. We're okay, aren't we? Uh, How are you uh, guys? Um, I've had enough of it. I've, I was uh, the first couple of weeks of it. I thought it was the end of the world, mm -hmm. and it was, and I, I got into a terrible state, really depressed. Um, and then I started enjoying it, and I got out of breath from just walking over there. That's terrible. Well, it was an exciting time. Well, um, you've got to stop walking. You've learned your lesson walking. now. Don't get yes. out of the chair. What's the point? Awful. You just get out of breath. I started enjoying it, really enjoying it, and working from home, and 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 and. and j but just the last two weeks, I've hit a wall, and mm. I'm tired of it. And people scare me. I took my boys away, and we ended up in Brighton. And um, God, it was busy, and there were people without masks or shirts, mm -hmm. just all touching each other. And blimey, what kind of place was that? Oh, Lara's dropped. I've got. I'm looking after my kid's dog for a week um jesus he's got someone to blame now wow that is awful um so we're okay well i've had a bit of a wobble today i felt a little you bit anxious a, all of a sudden i don't know and then my eldest has got her birthday party next week week after next and we've organized it bearing in mind that people aren't supposed to be mixing right and i'm guessing actually i could have had a load of kids in the back well a few select kids in the back garden socially distanced but we're doing like an isolation birthday in itself yeah. i'm trying to organize it it's Possibly the saddest event I've ever had to organise. So it's all weird, isn't it? And I said to yeah. him, I felt strange today and I felt anxious and I'm not yeah. quite sure what about. And then I went, oh, yeah, because the world is completely screwed at the moment. We're allowed to feel like this now and again. It'd be weird if we didn't. I guess so. I think it's also, um, it, it, it's a it's a mutual feeling. It's, it's very much in the public consciousness. So it, I guess it gets amplified to an extent because... Mm -hmm. We we all have that feeling bubbling under at the moment. That anxiousness. It's just I, I, the problem is the main problem is at the moment um, is just still not being able to plan a thing, yeah. which I find really weird 
because I like to have structure and a schedule. I like to know what I'm doing and what time and when and who with. And I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after that. And I, it does, it does make me feel, uh, yeah, very stressed, very anxious. But you know, it that's, it could be worse, I guess. Um, have you got? Are you doing? A, 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 we'll, we'll talk about the streaming in a minute because you've been a big inspiration for me, right? In terms of committing to streaming and stuff. But have you got any other work at all? Because they, they they are filming some bits and pieces and uh, uh, I, at the moment. I'm suspicious because I, I I know for a fact that it is impossible to do my job, um, and keep a distance yeah. from people, from other people in the workplace. I have to be physically moved sometimes. I have to have people touching my face and dressing me and stuff like that mm. um, because I, that is just, I, I can't be. Uh, I, I don't. That's too. I'm too irresponsible to be able to handle that sort of pressure. Hey, it's a very high a pressure star. job. You're a movie star. You need people to put your trousers on for you. God damn it! Um, but no, I've I've actually been talking. I I haven't really been on a film set for um almost two years now, or a TV wow. set, uh, and I've not been too excited about. Uh, just offers that have come my way, and right. listen, I'm not going to expect. Tom Cruise to come knocking on the door and asking me to be in the next Mission Impossible or whatever, but nothing's come along that's really I've found interesting. There's not really much on television or in films I personally find interesting at the moment. And I've just, I, I'm just really, I mean, and you'll, you guys will back me up here. I really love this whole experience that's yeah. going on here. It seems really special and really fresh and really new and um the content that's being created um there's something exciting about it and i want to be a part of it um and it's incredible to see you guys on here because this is perfect absolutely perfect for the two of you i'm so pleased Thank that you, you guys are doing this um and i really feel that you know because it was always i i, I assume well I, i've got a, i can take an educated guess that there's a lot of in our industries are very similar and there's a, there's mm. a lot of boxes you have to tick and a lot of people you have to answer to and have input from even though you don't want to mm. even though maybe they said at the beginning hey you crack on with it and we'll let yeah. you we'll let you do whatever you want to do oh you've met danny morris oh okay right <laughs> right i see well, actually yes. we were we were left pretty much alone weren't we and then it, it the, became very obvious we were, we were out favor the last 18 months was they started squeezing but it. this is bliss because actually i'm i report to him and he reports to me and actually if we want to do something we can pretty much just do it we don't have to put it through any kind of that, meetings that, or anything like that that's exactly what um, you two especially should be doing because you're wonderful and you're great and this is where you should be and all these people having fun with you. And um, it's great. And and it, it feels... Uh, I don't want to get too cosmic or whatever, but it feels like there's some sort of full circle, me being on your Twitch channel now as a guest um, because it was when I came on your show... And met you guys for the first time when you were at um, talk radio that it was the first time in my life that i just spoke like this and i was yes. just myself and i felt um accepted and that was when i started this whole journey of them making youtube content and then moving on to twitch and stuff like that and it was it all came from that evening that i spent wow. um, with oh, you man. guys thank you man I remember you saying that, you know, it was because you came and you, I was reminded, I forgot, you came and hung out for the whole three hours. I loved it. You couldn't get rid of me. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> but you said that it was the first time it was you. You know, you weren't there to talk about, you know, the in-betweeners or any of that. You weren't there. You were just there to hang out, really, and have a chat. It was great. I loved it. And listen, I don't mind talking about the in-betweeners, and I expect people to want me, to talk to me about the in-betweeners because that's, uh, you know, I can't expect anything other it was a big show and i have a lot of uh i'm very grateful for that show and i love doing it um but it's also nice to sort of just be myself and have a little chat and uh not have to answer the same three questions 
forever. <laughs> <laughs> where, I... where, where's Neil? Is Will's mum really fit in real life? And will there be another movie? Another movie, yeah. I can only, you know, answer those questions so many times. <laughs> James was was present when we I took my boys to see Dan TDM, the streamer. Yeah. And um, I hadn't told at Wembley Arena, and I hadn't told them that I'd managed to blag backstage right. passes. So you had like special armbands, but you said they were just for the posh uh, toilets. I said, look, when it had finished, I said, look, here's the thing you don't know about celebrities, you know, I'm famous and stuff, is that wherever we go, we get given access to private toilets. <laughs> so do you mind if we just go, just go to the private toilets, yeah. right? And we ended up in this bar and James was there and I think Charlie Brooker was there and, and a, a couple of other people. And we sat there and the boy said, well, when are we going? I said, I'll go a bit. I just want to speak to my friend James. I've not seen him for a bit. And then Dan TDM came out. My boys nearly burst into de tears. It, it, it was nah. magic, wasn't it? It was absolutely incredible. Um, just, uh, I mean, we had the exact same experience because my kids adored Dan TDM as yeah. well. And uh, it was amazing. Like it's, uh, especially my youngest one. Um, it's great to see him really passionate about something or a fan of someone yeah. like I would have been, you know, with a pop star or something like that. And that's what these people are. That's what yeah. these people are now. They're, 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 the, they're punk rockers of, of today. They're, they're doing what they want to do. They're making loads of money and driving Lamborghinis and they're brilliant and great and kids love them and they're cool and they're trendy and they're everything that I'm not, mm. and um, and that's that. They're the the sort of the punk rockers of today. I I feel. But by being the dads uh, and the mums that that took our kids to see and meet Dan, yeah. for one evening I was I was cool, cool. again. Just, I it. get glimpses of it. And one was when I jumped off that flipping thing in the jungle, and one was taking the boys to meet Dan TDM. And Dan walked out. The lady, his manager, his name escapes me, said, "Ladies and gentlemen, please, it's Dan TDM." And he walked out. And my eldest looked at me and went, <laughs> "No." <laughs> I went, Yes. Oh my God, I can only imagine because my daughters go nuts. They were in a stream once with uh, Xylex Play and they were like, she just spoke to me, she just spoke to me and it took them about an hour to calm down. They were like... Buh, 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 buh. So being in the same room... But this is the thing as well. I don't know about your kids, James, but mine don't watch TV unless I sit them down and say, right, here's a programme I'd like us all to watch or a movie. Yeah. They don't watch. It's it's all Ali A, it's Dan TDMs, it's Dennis and it's, you know, it's these, these streamers. My ex-wife has a slight problem with it because I don't think she quite understands that, that watching, you know, Slow Go Man is the same as when I was a kid watching Grain Chill. It's the same kind of th th thing. And and she, I don't think she quite understands that. Uh, uh, but it's... But but then there are blokes that watch football and I don't get that. Yeah. And it's an equal amount of skill. All right, it's different. It's in, you know, your brain rather than your feet so much but you know what I mean I, to me I don't get why people sit and watch the same game every weekend but if it does something for you that's got to be great people just people like stuff people like things and who are we yeah to say otherwise you know I love I mean? your stream completely Thanks, mate. Man. I love Thank it you. how because how because you were doing it on YouTube for a while and getting a lot yeah. of views there how long when did you make the leap over to it, Twitch it's probably been about a year and a half now right. that I've been on Twitch and uh probably the end of last year that I, that I was just like i just have so much fun doing this and i'm going to treat this now uh, the way i feel it should be done i feel like i've built something here and we've got a great community and i'm gonna do monday to friday during the days every day and enjoy it and there's the, it it makes me it just makes me feel good and it makes me really happy and um, the support, as uh, like the support, is incredible. You, and and you you'll know how it feels. And mm. sometimes that support and just and just the kind words and just just people going, do you know what? You're fine. You're all right. It's without being dramatic, literally life saving mm. sometimes. And it, really? it yeah, it really it really um, it really. I mean. You know, because what I was talking about earlier about ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor. And specifically, I wanted to work in comedy because I was watching people like you. 
Thank you. And um, imagine getting to a point in your life where you go, oh, man, that doesn't uh, excite me as uh, like as much anymore. And um, it's quite sad. It feels like something... And I'm sure I'll find it again, and I'm sure I'll be... I'll, I'll make a film or I'll make a TV show that, that I'm passionate about. I mean, I was recently talking about maybe doing a film later this year, but I've got some, um, just, I, I just sort of anxiousness and stressed and, and, and things like that. I, I did, I, I was, I've been talking about it and I was talking to the director a couple of days ago and stuff. And he was a nice guy and everything, but today I have, um, this afternoon I have pulled the plug on it and I said, I didn't want to do it because of the movie or because of the COVID. Uh, a bit of because of the COVID, it was going to be shot abroad right. and I was going to be away from my kids and stuff like that and having to get on planes. And yeah. also, um, I'm just not, I'm just not, uh, I, I, I haven't, I, I've lost a lot of confidence. Like I, I haven't got that confidence to feel like I can do a good job. Um, but I, 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 these things... Cut, cut, May like I it, ask... Why you think that confidence has gone? Is it, you know, having a, maybe a couple of bad reviews in the press? Is it a couple of snarky comments on Twitter? Is is, is there anything, or is is it? It's just happened. I think it's just. Um, I think that I think there's something with ten years, a decade, being known in the public. Mm. After, I, I think there's something about ten years. Uh, and that happened like last year or the year before, and it just became, I don't know, it was like a sort of final straw. It just became, it was like the Twitter stuff and the things yeah. like that. And and the way I described it is, is that it's, you know, people go, just ignore it. Just, you know, oh, get over it, whatever. Do the, but it is just, it, and I'm not saying it's like you're being, you're having the crap kicked out of you every day. It is someone just, the way I described it is someone just pecking your head mm. like constantly. Yeah. Relentless. Whether you're, whether you're out, whether you're in, these people can still get to you and they can still tell you. I've never asked anyone's opinion on, on me because I always assume the worst. So I don't, but I, I don't ask what you think of me. I don't want to know what you think of me. It's but fine. they want to tell you. They want to tell you it while it's on telly. It's bizarre. It's really strange. Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to spend your time doing that. Um, I but think it just, it's down to them, them feeling powerless. And so they're trying, you know, of course it comes from, it never comes from a happy person that, and they think they're punching up, but they don't realise that you're trying to make it just like everyone else's. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm no different to anyone else. And I, and it is, um, it, it just got to a point where I got, I just got a bit fed up with it. And we did this God awful reunion show thing which really sent me loopy because i really felt that, that, that was i saw i bad. saw that really upset you and you kind of disappeared for a bit and i think i sent you a little text saying yeah if i can do anything which of course i can't because that's something you have to kind of go through. through but it. yeah i saw that that really upset you yeah because i really care about the in-betweeners i really yeah. i really um i'm really proud of that show and it was everything that i wanted to do um when i was growing up it was naughty and subversive and funny and cheeky and um you know you can't wear it watch it with your mum and dad and stuff like that I, that was exactly what i wanted to to do with my life um and i didn't enjoy that um reunion thing and also it was it was done in a really strange way where where they just for weeks and weeks we were asking what is this what do you want from us what we're going to turn up at this studio and what's going to happen and uh, nothing I don't know whether they felt that maybe it was best to get natural reactions to stuff but with me and the other four boys our natural reaction is usually confusion anyway so if you if you don't <laughs> tell us what's going on we are just going to sit there like a bunch of planks just going I don't know what this is or what's going on and I thought that this was going to be a little celebration of something that I did that people liked and that people enjoyed me doing and thought that I did a good job on. And maybe I'd get someone, you know, slap my back and say, oh, that was great when you did that. I, that was what I was all geared up for. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take a bit of that. That will help my fragile eggshell ego. 
<laughs> and um, well, it just turned into Jimmy Carr just taking the piss out of me all night long, which uh, which I know Jimmy as well. And I just thought, well, of course, that's what Jimmy does. Mm. Why did I think he was going to do anything differently? And he's lovely, Jimmy. And I love Jimmy to bits. And he's another hero of mine and stuff. Mm. I, 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 For some reason, I thought he was going to be in a different role where it was going to be like, wasn't the in-between as great? Didn't we all enjoy it? Why don't you guys tell us uh, some stuff about how you felt about making it and what happened on this day? And can you tell us what happened behind the scenes and things like that? And there was even a bit that even made it to air. I thought they'd edit it out where I started t- saying an anecdote and a story. And Jimmy was like, basically, oh, shut up for a second because we need to put Joe Thomas in this suitcase. And I was, I was just, wow. oh, oh, and, and, and then I was just like, oh, right. So I'm, you're not, we're not here to talk. We're here. It's your, it's, it's your show. It's not our show. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I, I saw a clip of it and I thought, I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to, this is not, you know, I can, this feels like a stitch up. Uh, I didn't watch it. I me. couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to watch it. I was almost. I. I came home. I was nearly in tears when I when I got home that night. Oh mate! And I didn't stick around, and because obviously, like everyone was going to have a drink afterwards and stuff, and I just, I was like, I've got to go. So I just went home, and I was like, I think I've just destroyed the in between. It's, it's the only thing professionally that I've done that was a success. But you know that you 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 you, with, you can see now with the distance that that didn't destroy the in betweeners. No one yeah. remembers that. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. People don't bring it up as much as I thought they would. And and obviously, I mean, my, my wife um, summed it up best for me because I was just like, everyone hates me. Everyone thinks I've ruined this. They're all saying how much they hate me. Da, da, da. And my wife just went, "Who? Who's saying that?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Everyone." And she went, "I really don't think people are people are thinking about James Buckley right now." Oh, I don't. I don't know who you think you are, but people are trying to get on with their own lives and they're not worried about James Buckley. And I just sort of went, oh, yeah. You do get wrapped up in your own little you world, do. don't you? And you get, you'll get three tweets that will say, oh, you're a dick and all this. And you go, well, that's it. The whole world is against yeah. me. And, but then you've got to remember, you know, even when the Inbetweeners was, I don't know, getting three million... View, viewers, I think something like that on the final series, which is great for like a cable channel E4 or whatever it was. Yeah, it's huge. That's still like I don't like that's still a tiny percentage of our country, let alone the world. So, you can, so sometimes you need to remember that you know because you were in this bubble and a, a few people went to see your films and a few people saw your TV show. If most people saw you on the street. Nine ninety nine point nine percent of people in this country wouldn't know who I was, or and I, I need to remember that. I need to sort of get over myself. When so. you're in it, it's tough. It's interesting because I'm I'm. This is kind of my last roll of the dice, and then I think I'm out. I'm, I've got a meeting on Thursday with a college. I think I'm going back to college to um, to study in September, do a two year counselling course, and the plan is in three years is to be a trained counsellor and to just to knock this on the head, unless we become Twitch millionaires, in which case, oh, I'm sticking around. Yeah. But knock this on the head, and, and then, you know, if you get offered a big brother for 50 grand or, you know, a talking head for a grand, come and do that. But I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm kind of done this. chasing stuff, aren't you? I, I can't give it. And also, give by the end anymore. of the radio show, I mean, I don't think I'm breaking any confidences to say that you, you were kind of hoping it would end yeah. whichever way. Yeah, I don't know. The Completed It Make Channel, though, is beautiful. You're getting around. You're getting. Well, every time I look, you're getting like fifteen hundred, two thousand, two and a half thousand yeah. uh, viewers. I kind of. I haven't been in for a bit, but I kind of go in and quite often with channels. I just sit there quietly and and lurk because I don't want people to go. Hey, it's uh, it's Ian Lee. Let's. Uh, let me, uh, where's uh, Amir Khan? Where are the where's Amir Khan? So I, is that the real Ian, Ian Lee? My God! And they either go, "Oh, you're brilliant," or "You're a dick." Yeah. Get off. So I just kind of look, and I love watching your channel because it's so chilled. And you, you obviously, and I know you do. You love video games. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I love doing it. I really enjoy doing it so much. Like, there's, there's nothing that makes me feel, um, because it's all, it like everything that's on the screen is is me and my yeah. choices, and it feels great to have that control 
and to have people watch it as well. I know it's all, I know you always say, you know, look, I'd love doing this. I'd do it to two people and it'd be great. But to have, you know, like you say, a couple of thousand people tuning in every day. To, to... Imagine 15 year old you. What were you playing when you were 15? Uh, probably, probably Vice City at that point. Wow. OK, so you but imagine 15 year old you playing that. Just imagining that at one point, some point in your life, 2000 people are going to be there chucking coins at you and watching you blast your way through a game. What a way to live. Know, yeah, you couldn't. It, it was just unconceivable. It was you can't you couldn't imagine that back then, could you? That this would be a thing that people yeah. would enjoy that. And um, obviously, during every, like while everyone's been working from home and stuff, it's been nice to keep keeping people company. I've been, keep, you know, I've been in the background in, in people's houses where they are they have been alone and they've, you know, I get incredible messages um, saying, do you know what, you, you just being here has really helped. And, uh, but, and you never consider that you never, and I know you'll get the, the same thing as well, Ian, where, where, where people will go, they'll message you and you go, look, I, you, you saved my life that night. Just, just to, I mean, you know, you guys have, literally saved people's lives i've heard all about you know you two swooping in and stopping people from you know doing something dreadfully dramatic dreadfully that they that they would regret um and um it's nice that those people are still with us to be to be yeah. able to uh to interact with and and to send those messages because life would wouldn't wouldn't be as good without that sort of stuff um I don't like yeah. that Sea of Thieves game though. That just love winds it. me up. Oh, that oh, winds I love me it so up. much. Are you still playing that? Because I've not been yeah. in for a couple of weeks. Constantly. I'll let you know when we stop playing it. Good. But it's I love it so much. It's and what's so lovely as well is you're playing with you. You your, your viewers get the chance to come and play with you. Yeah, it's great. It's... You, you must have had some real idiots though. Come on. No. Completely screwing up the game, and you're going, "Come on, do this." Yeah, but that's content. That's still, you know, you either, <laughs> you either, um, you, 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 I, I, with this whole thing, you either win spectacularly or you fail spectacularly. It just has to be big and spectacular and, um, and people love it and you shout and holler and you get angry or then you celebrate and you do something great. And, um, it's just all of us sharing something that we all enjoy and that we're passionate about it's so much fun watching you and watching I, i'm a big fan of limmy and there's a, there's a guy called random british dude and there's a few people and some of them have a couple of thousand random has about 50 I mean, there's people. people like black mario who put loads black and loads mario. of effort in have and, you go on sorry and then and there is not as many people watching who should be watching james Incredible. you've got to check out black mario he's insane it's wonder black with a q and he's this, this black guy and he dresses up like mario and it is fantastic i love it and just sit and watching people play video games yeah. that, I, I watch it more than i play them now it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time those the, the people just have to have to do it for a while that's it that's all you got to do is you just got to keep doing it and commit to it and be regular yeah and have a, a time when people know that you're going to be there and it will grow um but yeah i uh, I have one oh, more great. question for you. Someone in the chat has said, "I've got. Oh, I, I, I'm probably gonna, someone's going to get murdered. I'm about to utter a code phrase. I have to ask you about your marinade." Oh my, my marinade. Um, well, <laughs> is this a euphemism? <laughs> what is this? No, I'm I'm a keen uh, barbecuer and uh, and quite recently a, 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 a smoker. I do like long, oh, sort of eight, nine, ten hour. Smoking, smoking ribs and uh, briskets and things like that, and uh, but I've got a real simple marinade. If you're if you like sort of steak and things like that, yes, mate. If you want it, and and, and it does impress people. Like you have people over and they go, "Oh my god, that tastes incredible!" It is just olive oil, uh, Liam Perrins, soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, and some crushed garlic. Put that uh, put that in with your with your steak. Leave it for twenty four hours. Whack that on, boy. whack that on the grill, and it tastes incredible. And it's so easy that people think you're a genius, and wow. I swear by it. I'm in, uh, James. You've been so kind to me and to us, and and uh, it's appreciated, man. And thank you for your your ongoing support. We think you're brilliant, yeah. and um, 
I hope you're happy and I hope you stay happy. If you're great, happy. and listen, I'm happier seeing you guys on Twitch. I gotta be honest. And uh, look, I, I don't want to be selfish. It's disappointing to hear you say things like, do you know what? I'm gonna go and do something, but that's what you've got to do, what, yeah. what you feel is right for you. But if it means anything to you, a lot of people are going to be uh sad if that happens and that's a good thing but that's uh, more like, clients you can count exactly them. exactly i want sad cases when this is over i'm going to come around i'm going to suck your sauce off boy right. I, want, I want your marinade deep down my throat okay wow sorry did i feel a little bit too far james lovely to talk to you uh, um uh, completed it mate is the thing um can we get a shout out for james in the chat please can we get a shout out for this guy and then someone puts the thing in but you've got to say it in an american accent oh yeah that's the key is it Lovely to see you, mate. Take care. Thank you so much, guys. Love to see you. Bye. 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 There we go. His, his channel really is a joy to um, to go and have oh, a look at. The vegans in the chat are saying, what, "What's happened? We've lost another one." You've not. He's not a full vegan. I'm, I'm he's not, just. I'm not a perma vegan. I'm not a perma vegan. I'm still vegan. He's in. 